Hey, trail riders, hope everybody's doing well. Welcome back to the Daily Ride. Today we are again in the book of Ephesians. We're in chapter one. Today we're going to finish this chapter and we'll move in, to, in the next episode. Uh, we will move over to uh, chapter two. So we're going to be covering verses 22 and 23. And again, let's just dive right in. And it says this, And he put all things in subjection under his feet, and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. And I'm going to read that over in the Amplified. It kind of expounds on it a little bit and gives us a little more clarity. It says this, And he put all things under his feet as an, as, and has appointed him the universal and supreme head of the church, a headship exercised throughout the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. For in that body lives the full measure of him who makes things complete and who fills everything everywhere with himself. Wow. The thing, the thing that, that I want you to see today in this scripture is that Jesus is your all in all. Jesus is the one that will sustain your life. He will give you everything that you need. He has already given us, according to Paul, what Paul and the, and the writers of the New Testament tell us, and Peter tells us that we have been given everything that pertains to life and godliness. Whatever it is that you need, you have. You just need to exercise it. We have, we have been given a measure of faith. Each one of us need to exercise that faith. And as we experience God more, that faith will grow and become strong and will become real rooted and grounded in, in our faith. So he has put all things under his feet. Jesus is co in complete authority. It doesn't matter what's going on in this world, what, what is taking place out, out, out in our country and in, in this world that's going on around us. Jesus is still in control. He's in charge and there's nothing that's taking him back. He's not sitting up there going, oh man, I didn't account for that. So I need to do something you know, to counteract what's going on. He's got everything under control and everything's operating just as he wants it to. And so he said, he said put everything under his feet. So he's got all authority. So when God the Father tells Jesus to come back and get his kids, when he comes back and get his church, come back and get his bride, uh, which I don't feel like it's going to be very much longer before that happens. Uh, he has full authority to be able to ride and say, and that trumpet blow and say, come on home. And then it says, which his body, the fullness who feels all in all. Everything that we have in our lives, there's gaps, there's stuff missing. And Jesus is what fills those gaps the things that we have lacking in our lives, the things that we have lacking in relationships, the things that we have lacking in our careers, whatever it may be, whatever, wherever it is, whatever it involves in our lives that we lack, Jesus is able to feel all in all. And he covers everything with himself. So I hope that you will take these messages and let them apply to your, to your life so that you can be the person God already says that you are. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for your many blessings. I pr thank you for every person that is watching uh, the Daily Ride by video or listening to it by podcast. I pray, Father, that you bless them mightily. Open their eyes and let them see the truth of how good you are, the truth of how much you truly love them, and that you are our all in all. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. I hope you'll continually follow me here on the Daily Ride, and I hope you will keep riding.